and scope cameras, maybe you have it. What it essentially is, is a tiny little camera at the end of a cable that you can stick into tiny spaces, you know, where no other camera can actually fit. Ever heard of colonoscopy? No? Google it. It's actually a really disgusting medical procedure where a doctor sticks one of these things up your back door. Now, that may be horrific, but it goes to show you what an endoscope camera is capable of and, you know, what its actual purpose is. Now, ignoring its purpose of exploring the human nether regions, an endoscope camera can actually be really useful for us car guys when working around our cars. Let's face it, car engines are not the most accessible thing in the world. Now, if you have worked in your car before, just tell me how many times have you been in a situation where you just needed to see something or wanted to, you know, inspect something, but you just couldn't fit your head in between the firewall and your exhaust manifold. Well, with an endoscope camera, you can. I mean, you still can't fit your head in between your exhaust manifold and your firewall, but you can get the camera that yeah, you know what I mean. Now, in the past, endoscope cameras used to be high-end, expensive devices. But today, thanks to the marvels of cheap overseas labor, you can get one for less than $10. I actually got mine for $8 and some change on eBay. All you gotta do is hook it up to your Android smartphone, and you're all set to go boldly where no camera has gone before. No, I haven't used this thing before even once. I actually just got it in the mail yesterday. But the first thing I want to do with it is the thing I'm most excited about. And that's actually to use this thing to look in, inside my engine and take a look into my cylinders and take a look at my pistons. Now it actually has adjustable LEDs on its head. So it can light up the dark innards of my engine. We are in. Hey, there's my piston. I remember you. I put you in there. Hey, this camera actually works. I'm pretty impressed. You can see the piston and everything and all the little, you know, I guess the piston. Yeah, you can't see anything else. But here's a little look at the cylinder wall. As we can see, the cylinder wall still looks pretty nice no scoring no scratches so yeah that's good good to see if I if I'm seeing this right there also seems to be quite a bit of carbon deposits already even though the engine has just done 1200 miles which which might be telling me that I'm running on the rich side so I'll have to look, look deeper into that but hey this little camera is actually pretty impressive you can see quite a bit of stuff with it. Nice. Now, here's some other things it can do. For example, ever wanted to take a look at, you know, hard to reach places to see if you have any leaks? Well, now you can. Ever wanted to check your exhaust manifold for cracks? Now you can do that too. Ever wanted to do a DIY colonoscopy in your garage? No. <laughs> oh, let's not go there. Here's another thing you could do. Uh, F dropped a bolt between your intake manifold and your engine block and couldn't reach it? Well, this thing actually has a nice little magnet attachment so you can dive in there and retrieve that bolt. Okay, now let's take a better look at the camera itself. So here's the, here's the contents of what I got in my mail yesterday. Now, this is the camera. You have already seen it do its thing. It actually has this thing. It has a button. Once you press the button, it takes still photos. And here's also where you adjust your LEDs. It plugs into your charge socket of your Android smartphone. 
Okay, the other thing I got is these crumpled up instructions and a mini CD, which you can insert into your non-existent CD drive, so that's useless. Why the instructions are useful actually is that they have this little code on them. You use your phone to scan the code and it downloads the app that you need to use the camera. Now be warned, in my case, the app was third-party software not downloaded from the App Store, actually the Play Store. So I recommend, you know, maybe using some antivirus to scan it to see if it's virus-free and safe. In my case, the software, the app was 100% virus-free and definitely safe, so that was okay. And the other thing that came with the camera are these three little attachments. There's a magnet attachment that you can use to retrieve bolts and other metal things from tight spaces. There's a little hook attachment that you can use to, I guess, retrieve non-metallic, non-things that you actually couldn't retrieve with a magnet. And there's this little thing, which is like a mirror, and you, let me just show you that real quick, you screw this onto the camera head, and it has a little mirror on it. I don't know if you can see this, my camera is not really good at close-ups. So what this actually is used for is to look at the walls, for example, of a very tight spot that you couldn't see usually, you know, you, because the camera sees only what's in front of it, and this lets the camera see what's on its sides, basically. So uh, the other things are also attached pretty easily. You have this little sleeve, and you put the sleeve on the camera, and you you pull the little attachment through the sleeve, like so, and then like so, and then pull it all the way down. I have no idea if that was even visible or clear, but it's actually simple and it looks pretty, I guess, kind of secure. Don't pull too hard at it, I guess, but it's, it's fairly stable. And I managed actually to retrieve a bolt from very tight spots within my engine bay, so I guess this works just fine. So, to sum it up, the little camera is actually pretty great. It will let you look into parts of your engine that you would otherwise need to, you know, remove bits and disassemble parts to be able to, to look at these, you know, at look at these things. It has a fair amount of, you know, attachments that let you retrieve bolts and other things from nooks and crannies inside your engine and it has the little adjustable LEDs so you can light up those dark crevices of your engine bay. So taking all of that into account and the fact that it costs eight dollars and the fact that it can actually in certain situations be pretty much irreplaceable and help you a lot, I definitely give the little camera the D4A cheap eBay stuff seal of approval. So guys and gals that will be all for today. I actually do plan on making these little cheap eBay stuff reviews a regular thing on the channel. Let me know if you like them and also if you have noticed some cheap eBay stuff that you think might be really useful for working around our cars, you know, point me in the direction of it and I can purchase it and make a review and then we can all see together, you know, if it gets the cheap eBay stuff D4A seal of approval. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I definitely do appreciate that a lot because it helps me make better content for you guys out there. So until next time and see ya.